when people are manifesting, there are two major mistakes that I see them making. And I want to talk to you with you guys about them today in case these are things that are getting in the way of you manifesting the things that you want in your life. Okay. So the first problem that I see when people are manifesting is, is they have a certain set idea of how, what they want is supposed to manifest, right? They're like, I want this. And then they're like, but it's going to go this way and this way and this way and this way. Or the only way I will get this is if I get it from here, from here, from here, or from here. And that's a really bad mindset to get yourself stuck into because that's a limitation that you're putting on it, right? You're putting a limitation on what it is that you're asking for. And the universe doesn't operate from a place of um, limitations. It's like, you want this, there's 85 different ways I can get this to you. Um, But most of the problem is too, is when you have a certain mindset of the way it's supposed to happen, let's just be honest. If you could make it happen in that order, you would have done it already and you wouldn't need to be manifesting, right? So you're manifesting because you, your order of how it goes has not been helpful or productive to this point. So you're asking for help from a higher power that knows what it's doing, even if you have no idea. And that's the point. You don't have to know as long as it happens, right? So I think you need to take a look at what you're doing and try to release a little bit of that control and that expectation and that micromanaging energy that you're putting onto the universe, right? Um, You know, nobody likes to be told how to do their job and spirit is no different. So keep an eye on that because, you know, for an example, I think money's a really... Uh, a really easy place people get stuck. So you're trying to manifest a certain amount of money for whatever reason, right? So in your mind, you're like, oh, I'll pick up an extra shift at work. Oh, I can get a better job. I can get a side job and that'll make more money. But money comes and flows in a lot of different ways. You know, somebody might pay you for a favor that you did that you didn't expect asked to or need to be paid for, right? Uh, Maybe somebody pays you back a loan that you forgot you had given out. Um, maybe you get a bonus for something, right? Like there's, there's maybe you get inheritance. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different things that can come about when you are trying to manifest money and it doesn't necessarily have to come that way. Maybe you get a refund. Maybe your manager um, of your apartment complex knows that you did a lot of extra work on the house. So they cut a big chunk off of your rent this month. There's so many different possibilities, but because you think it has to happen like A, B, and C, you're cutting yourself off from those other energies flowing into your life. Now, the second thing that people are having issues with when they're manifesting is, is that they're not really confident in what they have asked for. There's like this deep seated underlying fear that they're not going to get what they want. Right. And if you look at a lot of these people, they're saying the right things, their mind is thinking the right things, you know, but it's just that little inherent underlying, like, oh my God, what if I don't deserve this? What if I can't manifest this? What if it never happens? And, and, Even if it's a subconscious fear, the universe hears that and it says, maybe you're not ready. Maybe you're not ready for what it is that you're trying to do yet. So what I would say to you is check in with yourself and see if maybe you don't have some of these beliefs because sometimes they're subconscious and people don't really realize that they have that fear or sometimes they hope that if they ignore it, that it's not going to be a problem, but it is. So make sure you address that and address because there's reasons why that's happening, right? Maybe maybe you don't feel worthy. Maybe you've never been in a situation where you've seen this happen, so you're not sure it can happen, right? There's a lot of different expect, ex, um, expectations and explanations of why this could be going on. So go back to the root source and try to correct it that way so that you can manifest what you want and the universe sees that you're ready for it. So Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys and gives you um, um, some things that you can look into if you are someone who's experiencing issues with trying to manifest the life that you want. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you um, guys have learned a few things and I hope that you guys are able to change your manifestation techniques in order to create a really beautiful life that you want that makes you happy and that works for you. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely beautiful day.